Welcome to Imarath, or rather, what remains of it. A ghost town, where the streets have no life, where most of the graves in the cemetery have been dug up and moved elsewhere. Moved because Imarath is to be destroyed to make way for a coal mine itself the size of a small town. When Angela Merkel abandoned nuclear energy two years ago, she said renewable fuels would fill the gap. One day they should, but for now coal is still needed. Angela Merkel has led a massive push in Germany to get it using more solar power and wind power, and yet her critics say that her energy policy is a mess, that it's resulted only in higher energy prices for consumers across Germany, a country that is still dependent on coal. A lot of windmills around here. And Green energy revolution has cost a fortune in subsidies, costs that are passed on to energy consumers like Georg. Will that affect how he votes? All the persons who need energy have to pay much more for the energy because of the change. What do you think overall about the way Germany has been run at the moment? It's a good life, yeah. yeah. Pe people are yeah. happy, they want to continue with what they've yeah. had. Yeah, yeah. And therefore, I think, uh, if you see the election, it wouldn't change because they have no reasons. In the village built to house those expelled to make way for the coal mine, they were blessing the ground where one day their new church will stand. Most are now positive about the move. Some, however, are less optimistic about their country. They don't care anymore, yeah? So and a lot of people are not, uh, choose not to go uh, for a vote, which I find is very, uh, it's, a, it's a pity. It is a minority that is here at the moment. At the moment in Germany, only a minority is wealthy. More and more people are becoming poor, and that's building up problems for the country. Put simply, people won't be able to survive on the minimum wage or on their pensions. Back in abandoned Imarath, a solitary Angela Merkel poster hangs outside the old church. She's likely to win this election, even though here there is no one to vote for her. Matthew Price, BBC News, Imarath.